hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are new uh, don't forget uh, subscribe uh, my youtube channel before you start the video uh, so let's see uh, go to uh, assessment or instruction for c++ uh, programming so uh, go to a statement uh, is uh, the general uh, or the syntax or the format of go to statement is either this one or this one. Uh, you can use uh, this one or you can use uh, this one. Uh, these are the format or the syntax of a go to statement. Uh, for instance, as you have seen on here, this go to is a keyword. It, it, it cannot able to change, but this label is the name of the identifier. Uh, so, uh, this uh, label is an identifier. Uh, this identifier is a valid identifier uh, followed by a column. And this identifier and this label must be much or the same. So uh, go to a plus a label or the name of identifier. Uh, and there is a label on here uh, in order to uh, unconditional jump uh, from here to here. Uh, or you can implement or you can write uh, just like this one, a label or a, a then colon and go to a label with a semicolon. As I said to mention, this one and this one must be a match and uh, this go to followed by the label uh, helps to automatically jump from here to here. Or as you have seen on the arrow, uh, this uh, when we call this function, uh, this is a statement, this is a C++ statement rather than uh, uh, this one, when we call a go to level on here, it automatically jumps from here to here, and this statement is ignored, right? This is uh, as we have seen on the arrow, these are uh, the forward uh, go to implementation, and this one is the backward, for instance. Um, when uh, use this forward instruction, this statement is ignored because this go to level automatically jumps from here to here rather than executing this statement of the instruction. Uh, there is another statement on here, uh, but uh, when we come to this structure or this syntax, uh, there is a label, then colon, and there is a C++ statement, uh, statement one, statement two, and any other statement on here. Then go to the label followed by a colon, a semicolon, and this one is a colon, take care because it's a, a key sensitive. So when we call this, go to uh, the label, first this instruction is executed line by line, then check the go to uh, instruction. This helps to automatically jump from here to here. Uh, so we call it uh, backward, right? Uh, so the, uh, you can implement the uh, go to uh, instruction or go to a statement for C++ either as this one feature forward or uh, either this one for a backward. Uh, so uh, especially or, uh, on the backward, uh, in order to execute uh, uh, the loop, which are for loop, while loop, and do while loop to generate the iterative or the repeated tasks. So uh, you can substitute if this go to uh, loops or go to statements uh, either while loop or do while loop or for loop because uh, it have uh, almost all the same functions for instance. Let me show uh, with a simple example. Uh, you can you can uh, use a call block editor because I use uh, this one, but uh, if you have uh, any other one that's different from here, uh, no problem. You can write uh, seems like for me. So let me uh, declare int i as equals to uh, one uh, because on, uh, if I want to display uh, the number from one to ten, which are a count number from uh, one uh, to ten. Uh, it, so count uh, from from one uh, to uh, ten uh, C plus plus program program uh, with uh, go to. Uh, so how can I write if the instruction is given seems like for this one? 
So how can I count from a number one to 10 with a go to uh, C++ function? So uh, let me declare uh, int i, 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 the variable is equals to one. Uh, then uh, uh, let me uh, give, uh, because the general structure, for instance, if I wanted to uh, write the program, uh, this backward, uh, uh, syntax or the syntax within the backward structure. There is a level, this level is given by the programmer. For instance, I give any uh, type of uh, uh, label names which uh, must be uh, valid identifier. Uh, so, and this level one is matched with this one, and this level is followed by the colon, and this one is a semicolon. So, uh, how can I give? Uh, the name of the label on here. Uh, so uh, let me uh, give, le for instance, my name is uh, Amaret. So I can give my name because it's a valid identifier because in order to say the valid identifier, if uh, the first letter starts from A to Z, either capital or small letter. Uh, so it's a valid identifier. So I'm, um, all right, then a colon, then uh, see out because I want to display the number from one to uh, 10. So uh, in order to display that number, uh, just uh, this one, then uh, it, 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 it's auto increment, uh, which are I uh, plus plus, uh, then uh, go to go uh, uh, to, uh, Amarch, right? So uh, go to Amarch and semicolon. Uh, uh, so uh, this is a simple, a simple program that uh, able to uh, generate. Uh, sorry, there is a testing condition. If, uh, if, uh, sorry, I less than or equals to ten, then if this condition is true. Uh, this statement automatically jumps from this one to uh, this one. For instance, how it works, let me tell you. There is an initial value, which are i is equal to 1. Then uh, uh, there is uh, a level, which are a marriage, or you can give this one uh, for a level, level, uh, the, the name which are variable label, but this name must be matched with this one. Uh, if you change this one, it must be changed this one because they are the same uh, and it must be a valid identifier. Uh, and also this label must be followed by the colon and this uh, must be closed by a semicolon, right? So uh, this uh, go to is a keyword. Uh, we can change this one rather than for this one. So, uh, there is an integer which are i, uh, the initial value is one, which are an integer variable which are i, the initial value is one. Then uh, there is a label, then c out i. Uh, on this instruction, uh, the value is one, so one is displayed. Then i plus plus in a sense, i is equals to, uh, i is equals to i is equals to, i plus one in a sense the current value of i is one then when we add one from one i it becomes uh, two all right uh, then i is equals to two then uh, check this condition if i equivalent with uh, if i less than or equals to 10 uh, check this condition. So the value of i is 2, the value of i is 2, so 2 less than or equal to 10. Yes, it is, this condition is true. Then uh, this instruction helps to jump from this one to uh, this one from here to here, right? So come back again, then see out i. The current value of i is 2, then 2 is display or uh, the i value is uh, first uh, display one, then display two uh, in uh, this one. Then uh, the i value is increment in a sense, the i value is two, so i plus plus in a sense, two plus one is equals to three, then the i value is updated to three, then check this condition. 
Then if I let them course to 10, uh, check this condition, uh, the evaluation is 3, 3, let them course to 10, this is correct, then go to again on this. Uh, so finally, the I value is equal to 11, or uh, for instance, uh, when we check 10 less than equal to 10, it's correct, so 10 is displayed also again, but uh, when the I value it becomes 11, uh, 11 less than or equal to 10, this is false, so the output is displayed on here. So uh, let me run this one and check the result. So as you have seen on here, uh, this is 1 to 10, which are count from 1 to 10 with uh, go to a statement. This is a simple example for go to a statement in C++ programming. Don't forget, uh, like, subscribe, and comment my YouTube channel. Have a nice time. Bye.